Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft's AI Explorer is now officially recall, as I posted yesterday, and will be a feature that will remember everything you do on your PC, and you can refer back to different snapshots that recall takes using artificial intelligence by using a timeline. So it's a souped up version of basically a search feature that will be rolling out with Windows 11 24H2 if you have a Copilot Plus PC. Now I'll leave two videos in the end screen explaining what Recall is and what a Copilot Plus PC is all about if you would be interested because they both pertain to today's video. Now how this is all going to work is that uh, Recall will record everything on your screen as mentioned and it will um, compress that data and store it on your local drive and it will also encrypt it using BitLocker. And according to Microsoft, um, you'll be able to head to your privacy and settings page and then head over to recall settings, recall and snapshots as it's called, um, and see what snapshots are collected and stored on your device. Now, there's a couple of interesting things going on here because obviously to save snapshots, you'll, be, you'll have to turn this feature on. So I think that's a good indication that we've got the choice to turn this feature off. Um, if you don't want to use the feature, um, recall in snapshots. And here we can see maximum storage for snapshots. So when you reach this limit, your oldest snapshots will be deleted to make room for new ones. So in this example, they've given 50 gigs. And yeah, you can delete snapshots. So obviously, if these snapshots uh, do increase and obviously um, you want to delete your snapshots from a specific time frame, uh, past hour, 24 hours, 7 days, 30 days, you can delete those snapshots. And yeah, we can see at the bottom, you can delete all. So you will have a couple of options. Now, I've already seen um, in the comments on the channel that there is a bit of a privacy flag that's raised with this um, recall in snapshots. Because obviously, if it remembers everything you do on your computer, for a lot of users, that um, generates a couple of privacy concerns, which obviously is quite understandable. Now, according to Microsoft, though, they have recently posted a blog post uh, giving a bit of an in-depth overview of this new recall feature, and they have a bit of a privacy uh, conversation uh, in that blog post. And if you are concerned about privacy, according to Microsoft, I'm just going to go through a couple of points that they highlighted from that blog post, which you may find interesting regarding the privacy side of thing if you are concerned about privacy. And this is according to Microsoft, who says that recall will not record incognito mode in Microsoft Edge and other Chromium browsers. It will also not record Netflix, Disney, Prime, or other streaming services offering protected media DRM. It will not record one-time Images, so those could be private images sent via apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, and so on. It will not record certain videos depending on the app's privacy settings, and it won't be uploaded to Microsoft servers. Um, this is according to Microsoft, and Microsoft say they will not train models on your data. So that's according to Microsoft from this recent blog post. And something else to take note of when it comes to privacy, as mentioned, recall is encrypted using BitLocker device encryption, according to Microsoft. And these snapshots are stored locally, and you can delete and disable um, these snapshots, as we have spoken about, if you are concerned about privacy. And it's also linked to your user profile. And Microsoft says that they won't share uh, that data with your profile with other people using the same PC. And other apps and services cannot access recall. So basically, it's a one-way street. So some interesting stuff going on here. And those uh, privacy statements were made by Microsoft. So that's according to Microsoft. And I just wanted to bring that, uh, put that out there because I have seen a couple of comments on the channel regarding privacy, which is quite understandable. Now, in regards to recall, and as we can see from this image provided, this snapshots can use up quite a bit of data. And according to Microsoft, and we're going to head to this little graph um, or chart that I took from that announcement. According to Microsoft, and I'm quoting, 
Copilot plus PC storage size determines the number of snapshots that Recall can take and store. The minimum hard drive space needed to run Recall is 256 gigabytes, as I have mentioned previously, and 50 gigabytes of space must be available. The default allocation for Recall on a device with 256 256 gigabytes will be 25 gigabytes, which can store approximately three months of snapshots, according to Microsoft. And if you've got a 512 gigabyte, we can see that's 75. And if you've got a one terabyte, that's 150 gigabytes. So this recall, um, this recall and snapshots is going to be eating up a lot of your disk space. So if you have an SSD, then maybe you would want to delete some of those snapshots uh, sooner than later when this feature starts rolling out. And as mentioned, this is a feature that's going to be rolling out to Copilot Plus PCs, and that video will be in the end screen with that recall video I posted yesterday. So I just wanted to just go through a couple of mentions from Microsoft regarding more or less how this recall and snapshots would work, and also regarding the privacy side of it, uh, the storage allocation for these snapshots. So this is going to be a, basically a souped up version, these snapshots of what we currently have on Windows System Restore, which also um, takes snapshots of your system so you can restore your um, system if there's a fault, as you may well know, to a previous timestamp. And obviously it's going to be using this timeline that you can refer back to if you want to pull up those snapshots. So just want to put it out there. This is interesting stuff. It's still early days, but as the information becomes available, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.